All right, so let's do a graph question. 785 is graph by party. Uh, we have an undirected uh, graph. We need to determine whether it is uh, a by party or not. Uh, a, a graph is by party if we can set uh, the if we can split the, the nodes to two independent subsets. So there are no overlapping between the sets, uh, and every edge in the graph would uh, connecting nodes from uh, the two different sets here. Um, so the inputs here is a uh, adjacency list and there are no self uh, self edge uh, self looping edge and there are no duplicates in the adjacency list so it's a uh, clean inputs clean adjacency list uh, input uh, the example we have uh, four nodes here uh, the connecting to uh, the interconnector like this so as the explanation here says, uh, if we set uh, 0 and 2 to be in one of the party and 1 and 3 in the opposite uh, party, then all the edges here are connecting nodes from the two different set. Uh, the second example, it's essentially just connecting the two nodes from one of the set here in the previous example uh, that destroyed the, the by-party property. Uh, so. Uh, that's pretty much the question. Uh, so the the solution is basically trying to um, iterate over the nodes uh, uh, in the graph and try to assign them into two different parties. And um, if we assign a node to be party one, uh, party A, then the neighborhoods uh, nodes should be in the uh, opposite uh, party. And if we ever see a conflict, like uh, like uh, if we're looking at the node zero here in this example, if we say it's become it's a uh, party A, then we find node three and one and two should be in party B, and then we look at the node three here, uh, the neighborhoods uh, node of it, like zero and and two, they should be in the opposite party. Uh, that that's uh, not possible because two is actually in the same party, uh, doing the assignment uh, uh, of neighbors that we performed when we are looking at the node zero here. So it's pretty much just uh, try to do this assignment, um, um, and uh, when I when we see a conflict, uh, we just, we know that the, the graph is not by party. Otherwise, uh, uh, once we done the assignment uh, with not uh, any conflicts, it should be the graph should be by party. So uh, in terms of uh, ordering of uh, traversal, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can uh, BFS and DFS. There is no clear advantage in here. Um, so either uh, both of them should work just fine. In terms of, in terms of uh, time complexity, it will be the number of nodes and number of edges. We need to look at every nodes and we need to look at every edges. So that's uh, that's the just uh, the time complexity, um, linear, with respect to number of nodes plus number of edges, and for space, uh, we will store the assignments. It's basically node to party, uh, uh, you know, mappings. So that would be linear with respect to the number of nodes. Yeah. So that's pretty much the analysis. Uh, so let's start coding this. Party. Uh, that this is uh, the hash map that stores the assignment. The key is going to be the node ID. The value is the party that the node we, we want to assign it to. Uh, so let's just iterate over the nodes. Uh, move myself over. Okay. Ah, my typing. So if the uh, there is a special case to handle here that uh, if the node is uh, uh, isolated, uh, isolated there, meaning that uh, it hasn't it has no edges, uh, uh, we actually find because um, uh, you know it could be uh, 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 it could be adding to any graph any set it it make no difference because there are no edge connecting it with any other nodes. So that's uh, the case when uh, graph i the the uh, it will be empty. 
or the case that uh, we have already assigned it, then uh, we don't want to revisit it. Uh, then we just continue. Uh, okay, so if we are working with a brand new node, it, uh, we can just randomly assign it to be, you know, maybe like a group zero. And uh, once we assign this node, we will uh, start the traversal. Um, so uh, let, let us actually be flexible in terms of uh, BFS or DFS. Um, so initially we have this uh, node uh, as the source of traversing. So while we still have nodes we should visit, um, let's say that uh, we just pop out a node from this uh, deck here. So if we're looking at front here, we, we are basically doing BFS. Uh, pop front. Yeah. Uh, the we get uh, the party assignment for this node. Uh, which we can obtain by looking to the uh, hash map here. And then we will uh, try to assign all the neighbors of uh, this node to be in the opposite party. Neighborhood uh, graph node. So if we haven't assigned it, uh, assign a party for the neighborhood nodes yet, we just assign it to the opposite uh, uh, party. Otherwise, we'll do a check to see, uh, to see whether it, uh, we, conf we find a conflict yet. So if we uh, haven't assigned it, uh, a party yet, uh, what we would do is to assign it to the update party. Okay. Uh, let's just call it one. So uh, one minus the party. So we will be alternating between zero and one in, in, in terms of party. Um, and then we push the neighbor onto the uh, deck. So either BFS or DFS, we are always push to the back. Um, so that's uh, that's the that's the case. Uh, that's a good case. So when we can actually do an assignment, um, then we just check uh, whether we have a conflict. So if the neighborhood's party is equal to the uh, n the party of the node then uh, we have a conflict. Uh, if we are all good throughout all this code, we should just return true. Uh, so this is uh, BFS. If we just change this to, uh, you know, grab the back and pop the back, we, we, are, we are basically switching from DF, BFS to BFS. Oh, sorry. This would be doing DFS. Um, so uh, since that uh, there is no uh, obvious reason, um, either one should should be a proxy similar in terms of uh, 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 running time, I guess. Unless you have um, more information about uh, the the graph, otherwise there is no obvious advantage. In, uh, uh, you know, one versus the, the other. So let's uh, quickly check if we have any obvious problem in the code. We have a hash map to store the uh, node to party assignments. We go through all the nodes. If the node is an isolated uh, island by itself, or we have already uh, visited the, this node, then we continue to uh, you know work on the next node. Uh, if the node uh, uh, we haven't looked at the, the node, uh, so for the node we try to assign it to one of the group. Then uh, we, based on the, uh, 
you know, traversal strategy of choice. Uh, we basically try to uh, assign the neighborhoods of the node to be in the opposite party, and uh, then push the neighborhood nodes onto the uh, toe that uh, we keep just keep uh, you know traversal through all this all the graph. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I, yeah, let's submit to see if it works. Okay, uh, it, it's working. Um, so yeah, the time complexity is um, order of uh, edge plus uh, nodes, and the space is uh, to store the node assignment. So that's uh, linear uh, with respect to the number of nodes. So that's pretty much it.